So, Peyton, you had a big night as far as something big in your life? Last night? Yeah. You said you first time you slept alone? Oh, yeah. Well, that was, like, kind of awful. Um, so... My boyfriend Kadeem's out of town until tomorrow, and so this weekend was the first time that I like have slept in my bed by myself, nobody else like in the house with me, for the first time in like at least five years, and I was like scared. I couldn't sleep. It was awful, and I'm just so ready for him to be back, so I don't have to sleep by myself anymore. Oh no! Do you hear every <laughs> noise and think that it's somebody trying to break in? Yeah, and it's just like. And like I'm in like the country, and so I'm like really scared. It's really eerie and quiet, and it was kind of storming this weekend. And I was like, "Yeah, it's time for this to not happen anymore." Um, so it was a, it was, it's been a long last couple of days for me. <laughs> You're like, "Sorry, Kadeem, you can never leave again." <laughs> yeah, I'm like, "This is awful," and he's like, "Oh, this is best ever. I get to sleep freely." I'm like, "No, dude, you need to come back today." <laughs> But, so how come you didn't like if you were like scared like that you go crash at your parents' house? Or well, something? I've thought about it, <laughs> um, and I'm thinking that might be what happens tonight. Right. Um, is to just go stay the night over there, have like a friend spend the night or something. But now I know for future, like I'm not. I'm gonna plan ahead, mm-hmm. um, so I'm not by myself because it was awful. Yeah, yeah like terrible. at first you're like I could do this, <laughs> yeah. and, then it, and it's like it gets to like seven or eight o'clock uh-huh. at night. It's all dark out. You're like, it's true. What was that? <laughs> yeah. What was that? Yeah. When we used to start traveling to do the show, when we first started, our show was in two, just in Tucson, mm-hmm. and we'd have to drive up to Phoenix, and my in-laws had a house up here, but they would travel. So my wife would say, stay at her parents' house, and they had a really big house. And I remember the first night I went up there, and I stayed in this in a small room in this big-ass house, and mm-hmm. I was like, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, forget that, man. I'm in this big old house all by myself. I heard every little crack. Yep. I saw thought for sure there was a serial killer in the house mm-hmm. and I was like I'm just gonna stay at a holiday inn from now on <laughs> have you seen that meme where it's like when you're sleeping alone in a big house and you hear a noise and you're like well I had a good run yeah no <laughs> that's really how I felt like and I have to cook dinner like my mom made me dinner last night because she was like oh I don't want you to cook for yourself I was like thanks dude because this is what I needed I'm like terrified up in this house by myself so I can hear the chickens and stuff. I'm like, yeah, we gotta go. Murderous <laughs> chickens. Yeah. Food. I gotta tell you something. So, you know how like there's all these ahi bowl places everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like it, I remember when when my favorite place opened up, ahi ahi poke bowl. That place opened up. I was going there all the time. And now there's all these ahi poke bowls, poke bowl places everywhere. And one of the things that they all do, which really irritates me, if you ever go, is they take like an ice cream scooper and they pick up the ahi. And they're like really anal about their little pokey scoop. Oh, they're like stingy with it? So stingy. Okay. <laughs> they pick it up and then it's like, they almost like scoop it up and they, and they barely put it on your bowl. Like just, you get three pieces. Yeah. It's and it's so extra. so frustrating. If you want more. <laughs> so Friday, um, my son Jake, who goes to the University of Arizona, texts me and he's like, hey, I'm going to come home this weekend. And I was nice. like, I'll come pick you up. You know, so I left the studio and I went to go pick him up. And he had class at three o'clock and he had, it was online. So he had to be back at my house by three. And he goes, uh, come pick me up. Let's go get some pokey. There's a pokey po- bowl place by here. I'm like, all right. So I go pick him up. And we go to this pokey bowl place in Tucson. And first of all, this whole part of Tucson I haven't been to in a while. And it's like all remodeled and so hip. So I go to this pokey bowl place. And I stand in line to order my food. And the first thing I see is the guy goes, what kind of pokey you want? And I go, I'll take that kind right there, right? And he takes this massive scoop. And I'm like, all right, he's going to knock it off. He, he takes this huge scoop, and he puts it on my rice. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> and he goes, I'm just giving you a scoop. And I go, well, I get three scoops. And he goes, yeah, it takes another scoop. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> he puts three massive scoops on it. I go, this place is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, I'll take some of that crab. And he puts a crab on there, big scoop. I'm like, now, do you do that? Is that just you? Or does this whole place put the scoops like that? He goes, all of us, the whole place. I go, who owns this place, right? So I ask who the owner is, right? And the guy goes, he looks at me like, like you know, who is this guy? Why are you asking? I go, who's owned this place? And the guy, he goes, uh, Mike? I go, Mike who? And then the manager comes out. The manager comes out and goes, I'm Mike. And I go, are you the owner? And he goes, no, I'm the manager. I'm like, who owns this place? And he goes, 
Mike. <laughs> I was like, I'm just saying, if this tastes great, this is the greatest pokey place I've ever been to. So I sit down and I eat it, and it's phenomenal. Oh, it's really? Phenomenal pokey, right? And, and the place is so beautiful. And I just eat it all up, and, it, and I had this black rice, right? It was just, it was, the place was great. Anyway, here's the name of the place. It's called Lemon Shark. If you find it, go find it. It's the best. It's probably one of the top three or four pokies I've ever had. And it's right across from, it's next to Culinary Dropout. It's across from Snooze. And it was kind of empty. The place needs to be packed. The place needs. So then I say, where's this Mike guy, the owner? Anyway, he lives in Chicago. And he has this, this is his chain. They're like all over the country. Oh, that's mm. cool. I know. Anyway, they're, they're not doing stingy. It right. Doing it right. <laughs> they're not stingy. Go find Lemon Shark. <laughs>